Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to today's tutorial which covers the dynamic CRM integration with Outlook. So we'll start by looking at Outlook. From this user's Outlook, we can see at the top of the screen there is an area we can access for CRM. Clicking this will give us access to our CRM records and also access to interact with those records. In addition to the top level here, we can also access our records on the left hand side by going to the relevant work areas of CRM. Within each work area of CRM, we have access to our entities by expanding. So if I go into the sales area, I can look at the marketing entities, I can look at the sales entities within that area, all from within my Outlook. As well as gaining access to our records through Outlook, we can also create CRM records via Outlook. For example, if I wish to create a new contact, I simply click on the contact icon, which takes me into CRM and allows me to create my new contact. And when I close this window, it will return me to the Outlook. As well as the ability to create contacts, we can also see through our toolbar, we can create new activities within CRM, we can create new emails, phone calls, appointments, and any other type of record which is contained within your CRM, all through Outlook. Users also have control over the data that is synchronized between CRM and Outlook. To do that, you click on File and come down to the CRM area of your Outlook. And we can see two clickable areas called Synchronize and Go Offline. And we'll discuss each of them in turn. To look at the synchronization area, you click on Review Synchronized Settings. And this will display what data is synchronized between the two applications. So we can see recurring appointments, service activities, appointments, phone calls, tasks, letters, Outlook contacts, and faxes. These are the ones that are available out of the box. Users can add their own filters by clicking new or can edit existing ones by clicking on them. For example, I know that the My Outlook contacts is only synchronizing data from CRM to Outlook and vice versa where I am the owner of the contact. That doesn't really fit the purpose of my needs. I want to synchronize all contact information. So what I do, go in there, open it up and we can see the filters applied. Our status equals active and the owner equals current user. I simply need to remove the owner equals current user filter, save it, and now all contacts information will be synchronized between CRM and My Outlook. You also have control over which fields are synchronized by entity type. So if I look at, for example, the appointment form, I can see the appointments which are stored in Outlook and exchange under the field appointment time is passed across to a field on CRM called appointment time. I can also see that the body in Outlook exchange field is passed across and saved in the description area in CRM. Now because the arrow goes in both directions, that shows us the information or data is synchronized from Outlook to CRM and vice versa. Whereas, if you look at the example of attachments on the appointment, there is no direction, so there is no synchronization between attachments on your appointments between Outlook and CRM. Because users have control over their filters through this area for user, you can see new, but if we go to system filters, there is no option for new. System filters are, can only be created through the SD so you would need some, a developer to do that work for you. If you're not a developer yourself, please get in touch if you want us to look at that for you. In addition, as well as the synchronization options, in the area underneath Go Offline, users can also manage their offline filters, which work in exactly the same way as the synchronization filters. The difference is synchronization deals with the information that's passed back and forward automatically. Offline settings controls what information is passed back to CRM when you come back online. As I said earlier, your CRM records can be accessed through the navigation on the left hand side of your Outlook window. So if we go there and we go to, for example, the sales area and I open up sales and I can look at my list of contacts. I can see the contacts out in my system. Here's our demo contact that we made earlier. So what I can do is I can directly from here, if I right click and create uh, an appointment, have an appointment with this person. A subject will be demonstration. I'm going, I want this to be in our boardroom and I want it to be Friday. Save and close this. And because Outlook and CRM talk to each other, if I go and look at the record for our new demonstration contact and look at his associated activities, here it is. It shows within CRM that there is an appointment with demonstration contact for Friday. 
So as well as working with all of your standard out-of-the-box entities, any custom entities that you add to your CRM will also be reflected within your Outlook. So I can do that by going to my Marketing and Extensions and I can see that all of my eMessenger campaigns and messages are also tracked within Outlook. If you'd like more information on eMessenger campaigns and messages, there's a more in-depth video tutorial which can be located in the playlist for this video to demonstrate how that works. It's basically a mass email system that will work within your CRM. Now a particularly useful aspect of the CRM with Outlook plugin is you can decide which emails are tracked within CRM and which ones are not to keep your personal emails or non-CRM related emails away from your CRM. So in order to do this I'll demonstrate how to create a new email. So within my new email folder I'm going to click new email. I could choose my recipient. There we are. And I want this one to be tracked within CRM, therefore I simply click track and this will track the email within CRM. So when the email is sent, it's going to create a record of the email being sent against this contact record. In addition, we can also set the regarding and what set regarding means is it will allow you to attach a copy of this email to another entity within CRM. For example, I want to send an email to this contact and I want it to be regarding a campaign that we've sent in the past. So I set the regarding choose more. I get a look up to different record types we have and it was an eMessenger campaign and it was in relation to this one. And what this will do is when I send the email it will track the email against our new demonstration contact and it will also track the fact that an email has been sent regarding the newsletter. So I'll go ahead, I'll complete these details and I'll now send. Because we sent an email to this demonstration contact, which is regarding a marketing list, we can demonstrate that that email has been reflected on both records by going into the CRM via Outlook. I can go to Demo Contacts Wall if I look at the activities. Here is the email. There's a record of it. If we want to read it, we can pop it out. There we are. We can see our email is recorded against the contact. If I look at my eMessenger campaigns, we sent it regarding this particular campaign here. I open that and I look at the related activities relating to this campaign and change it to all. There we go. There is our email track there. So that shows you the benefit of one, tracking your emails within CRM and two, the set regarding. You may notice as well the subject line of the email has CRM and then some digits after it. That's a tracking token for the email. So if the user responds, that will also be automatically tracked within CRM and with an Outlook. CRM also offers the ability to automatically convert any tracked emails into a case, an opportunity or a lead. And that's very simple to do from the email record. At the top of the screen, you will see a convert to icon. You click on that and choose, I want to convert this particular email into a case or into a lead. So if you worked in a service area, someone sends an email into you, which is relating to an issue they have, rather than having to manually create a case from scratch, you can get the email, click convert to case, and it will automatically allow you to do that. So you choose the customer, the subject, and convert. I'm going to cancel that and we'll change it into an opportunity. And again, that will let me specify the details of opportunity before I move on. Another extremely useful feature of the CRM for Outlook add-on is the emails which have been sent and tracked from Outlook can be converted straight to CRM entities from within your Outlook. So I have my email that was sent earlier in this tutorial to our client. I want to change that into a case. I simply highlight it in my Outlook, click convert to and convert it to a case. I fill in the details, the customer's pre-populated, assign a subject to it, so I'll just say this is in relation to other, select and convert. And we now have a case created in relation to this within CRM. And one final feature I'd like to cover today is the offline mode. Very powerful so that if you happen to go offline, you're out of signal, can't access your CRM, you can make work through your Outlook, which when you then come back online will automatically sync across to CRM. And that's done in the CRM area 
by clicking go offline. If you are offline, you can make all your changes through Outlook and when you reconnect, it will automatically sync across all your updates to CRM. Hopefully that's given you a good overview of the CRM for Outlook plugin. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.